Today we're going to be talking about the new hero, Shani. It looks like she's going to be doing water damage and slash damage as well, which is really good. And then uh, she's also going to be doing a... F she's also going to be a five-star hero, you know, which is really nice because more five-star heroes, the better. And then her Valor Chant is going to be focusing on power and intelligence. So how do you get Val Valor Chant? Um, so if she's on the bench and you switch her onto your active party members uh, when you're in a fight, uh, all your party members will be buffed by 10% or 20% or 30% depending on what level your Valor Chant is. So that's a nice buff for one turn. And then as far as her ability goes, she's going to be focusing on... Water, once again, I mean, she's a water type character. So her charming dance is going to be doing water type slash damage on a single enemy and lowering the enemy's resistance by 20%. So it only lasts for one turn. However, you might be able to get two stacks off for half a turn anyway. Um, let me know in the comments below if you all know that answer. I mean, I would definitely love to know that answer. So, uh, yeah, that would be really helpful. And then, um, so we got, um, so that was that ability right there. And then for her second ability, Acid Slash, once again, she's going to be doing Water Type Slash attack on a single enemy and lowering the enemy's physical resistance by 15% for three turns. So that's once again, uh, when you lower physical resistance, I mean, that includes Slash resistance, that includes like Blunt resistance. So any physical uh, damage that your party members are doing, it will definitely increase those that damage on those attacks. So definitely um, use that if your party members are using a lot of physical attacks. And then her best ability, in my opinion, is this Shock Slash. So it's going to use Slash Attack on all enemies and stun them. So that, for a low amount of MP, so definitely, definitely use that a lot because AOE stun and all enemies I mean that's really good so definitely get that shock slash spam it spam it like crazy I highly recommend it and then uh, twin serpents so you're gonna be using water type slash attack on a single enemy times two so it's a, just a stronger water attack on a single enemy so good for bosses and then this ascension sword is a physical so you're doing, it's a physical attack, so you're doing slash attack on a single enemy and buffing your power by 20% for two turns. So another good ability for bosses. And then this uh, fascinating saga. So you're going to be doing water type slash attack on a single enemy, a large amount, and uh, lowering the enemy's water resistance by 25%. Um... You know, you can max stack it by three times. So if you have any other heroes in your party that can lower, you know, water resistance, you know, definitely take advantage of that. And then once again, with this ability, you might be able to get it off for, you know, two, two turns, like for half a turn. So let's say the enemy is already, you've already hit this enemy once with this ability. And then you hit it again. Uh, for the next turn, I mean, it might have two stacks on him for half a turn anyway. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. And I know I sound like a broken record, but hey, I mean, you might be able to get two stacks off this enemy. And then there is this is Oasis Wave, which is a water type slash attack on all enemies. You know, a large amount, so highly recommended uh, against fire enemies and then against enemies that... Um, just take normal normal type damage against water attacks as well because it's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. And then just switch her and Mighty out, you know, for fire enemies. So she can be AOing enemies and then Mighty can be on the bench. And then switch Mighty in, switch her onto the bench to get her mana back, and you will be walking all over fire enemies with ease. And then this epic tail is... So you're going to be doing a lot of water damage, so extra large. So you're going to be doing a ton of water damage against a single enemy and then lowering the enemy's type resistance by 30% for one turn. So highly recommend against bosses, highly recommended for your ultimate ability. Um, definitely use that for your ultimate at least. 
I know I'm going to. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you all have any questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment below and I will get you your answer as soon as I can. So I will see you all in the next video.